Hello, welcome to Help Your Math. Today we're going to solve this equation for x, and we're going to do this by getting everything with has, which has x on one side of the equation and everything that does not have x on the other side of the equation. So we can combine like terms, solve for x. So the first thing that we want to do is distribute negative 2. And when we do that, we're going to get 6x minus uh, what's 2 times 4x minus 8x. And then minus 2 times minus 9, which is 18. And then bring this down, 13 plus 3x. Okay. So now the next step, since you can combine like terms over here, uh, you're going to do that first. So 6x minus 8x is minus 2x. And then plus 18 equals 13 plus 3x. Okay, great. So now, as I said, you want to get everything with x on one side. So uh, I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. And minus 2x minus 3x is minus 5x. And then on this side, you're going to get 0, 13 plus 0. So minus 5x plus 18 equals 13 plus 0. So now, since you want to get x by itself, you're going to subtract 18 on both sides, which is going to be, you're going to get minus 5x plus 0 over here equals 13 minus 18 over here, which is minus 5. And now you have to uh, divide negative 5x by negative 5 to get x by itself. And you have to do it on both sides. So minus 5 divided by minus 5, it's going to give you 1. So that's your solution. Hello, welcome to Help Your Math. Today we are going to solve this equation for y. And we're going to use a method to make it easier to solve, which is to multiply all of these by the least common denominator. Uh, which is 12 in this case, because 4 times 3 is 12, 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. So when we do that, 12 times 3 over 4, 5 minus 5 times 12 plus 1 over 2 times 12, y equals minus 2 over 3 times 12. So when you do that, this is going to be your equation. And now you can reduce it. Uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So you're going to have 3 times 3 times y, which is 9y. And then minus 60 over here. And then 12 divided by 2 times y over here, which is 6y. And then equals... Um, over here, you can do 12 divided by 3, which is 4. So you're going to have minus 2 times 4, which is minus 8. And now your equation is much more simpler to solve. You can start by combining like terms, like 9y plus 6y, which is 15y. So 15y, then bring down minus 60 equals minus 8. Okay, so... Now the next step would be to add 60 on both sides. Over here, you're going to get 15y plus 0 equals 52. Um, and now your final step would just be to divide by 15 on both sides. And since you can't simplify that more, your solution would just be 52 over 15. Hello, welcome to Help Your Math. Today we are going to solve this equation for x, and our first step is going to be to distribute 7. So when you do that, you're going to get 7x minus 14 plus 3 equals 2x minus 10 plus 5x. Okay, 
So now your next step would be to combine like terms. Um, and when you do that, you're going to get 7x minus 11 equals uh, 2x plus 5x minus 10, which is 7x minus 10. Um, and now you want to make sure you have everything that has x on one side and everything that does not have x on the other side. So um, it's really up to you where do you want to start, but I'm going to start by subtracting, uh, sorry, adding 11 on both sides. And so on this side, you're going to get 7x plus 0 equals 7x uh, plus 1. And now uh, you want to isolate x, right? So on this side, you have 1, right? So on this side, you're going to subtract 7x both sides. Over here, you're going to get 0 plus 1. And over here, you're just going to get 0. And obviously, 0 is not equal 1. So your answer for this problem would be that there is no solution. Hello. Welcome to Help Your Math. Today, we're going to be solving this problem for B. Uh, first step uh, should be opening up the parentheses on this side. Uh, so we just multiply uh, b by 0 0.3, which is going to be 0 0.3b. And then we multiply minus 3 by 0 0.3, which is going to be minus 0 0.9. Uh, now, we want to add those two members together, so we get 0.5b. This is going to be 0 0.9 plus 0 0.3 is going to be 1.2b minus 0 0.9. Now, we need to subtract 1.b from both sides of the equation. So. Here we're going to have minus 0.7b plus 4 is equal to minus 0.9. Now we need to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. We're going to have, so here we're going to have minus 4.9. Now all we have to do is just divide both sides of the equation by minus 0 0.7. So we're going to have I'm going to write over here. is equal to 